What's going on, Taurus? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And if this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. Whoa, did you see that card fly out, Taurus? This is a sign, a synchronicity, a hint, a clue from your angels. Six of wands, letting you know victory is close by. Very exciting. The lover's card, wow. Four pentacles and the eight of swords. What a way to start. Right now, spirit's telling you, you are on the right path to meet your soulmate, your kindred spirit. Someone who you have such a strong energetic connection with, such a strong bond, that you might even know each other from a previous life. And I feel like this is happening very, very soon for you. Your angels and guys are setting this up. Divine timing is at play. So really be in a place where you're in the receiving mode, you're open to the invitation of this happening. You assume and expect law of attraction, law of assumption, rather than kind of want, hope, need, wish, right? All scarcity mindset. None of those words sounded good, right? Because they all carry your vibrations. You don't want any of that uncertain, wobbly energy. Assume and expect. Spirit, the most powerful force in all the dimensions. More, it's just not even the most powerful force in this universe, not just this third dimension. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, twelfth, the most powerful force in all the dimensions wants to make sure that you get what you're looking for, that you are with your soulmate. This is your birthright. Now, the only reason this hasn't happened yet is because there are limiting beliefs, right? This is the thing that we gotta let go of. Shadows, egos, limiting beliefs preventing this from happening, causing confusion. And the only reason that spirit can't give us what we're looking for is if we create almost like a gate, right? A limit, like an like a energy blockage preventing this opportunity from coming. And once this, this gate is open, for example, once you got the access code, that's when divine timing takes place. So what is spirit telling you right now? Expect change, welcome change. Don't be scared of, of change, right? And that's the one thing that I feel right now with the four pentacles. Spirit is telling you to let go of the way of thinking that is not paying dividends, right? Let go of holding on tight. Let go of controlling the situation. Let go of trying to force something to happen rather than just letting spirit manifest it for you. And I'll give you an example. Spirit will take care of the who, what, when, where, how. This is beautiful. You don't have to worry about any of that, right? Like, thank goodness, so much responsibility is off your shoulders. The only thing spirit wants right now is for you to worry about yourself. Take care of yourself, honor your soul. All you have to do is open that gate for the abundance to come. The access code of that gate is being in alignment. When you're in alignment, which means when you're feeling good, that gate's open and abundance after abundance, opportunities come into your life so effortlessly, but you gotta open that gate up, which is putting yourself in alignment, mind, body, and soul. And the first step is welcoming change in your life and not being scared of it, right? We are scared of change. We are scared to ask someone on a date. We are scared for, of rejection. We are scared of getting laughed at. We're scared of not being good enough. These things are completely normal. These are limiting beliefs from our human experiences, you know, and you can't beat yourself up. You know, in your, in your life, you basically collected a lot of data. With that data, you're coming in with a conclusion of what is going to happen. You're trying to predict the future, uh, creating a model, right? But you have to understand, that that data has been influenced, that data has been uh, uh, brainwashed into our mind, that we have to you know, settle and expect this and expect that, and what we want is this, and we can't be ourselves. It's not the real, real deal, right? So you gotta understand that right now, the most important thing that you want to do in your life is almost like the way you expect the sun to come out, right? You welcome it. You're not scared of the sun coming out. It's the same way you want to expect change, because the only thing that's certain in this third dimension is change. That's the only thing that the, the uncertainty is the only thing that's certain, right? So change is your best friend. You are waiting for your soulmate to come into your life. When your soulmate comes into your life, when that opportunity presents itself, it is going to change everything. You love change, change is your friend. Or if you imagine right now, I also do see that your love life and your work life is connected with that six of pentacles, knight of pentacles. So I see here right now when there's no resistance when it comes to love, there's no resistance when it comes to your, you know, your professional life, your career expect change, welcome change. You want change when it comes to getting that promotion or starting that business. This is something that you should be welcoming. Now, the next time your ego shows up towards and tries to scare you, because remember, your ego is the reason that you, you resist change. You gotta understand and be aware that this is completely normal, but this is not optimal. This is not acceptable, right? For example, I understand that anytime I have inspired action, immediately afterwards, my ego is gonna show up and go boogie, boogie, boogie. So, 
I want to start a business, inspired action. Yes, looks great. Hmm, here's some due diligence. Let me look at the company balance sheet. Let me do some market re re research. Let me go you know, crunch some numbers. Everything looks good. Inspired action, looking good, thumbs up. Before I'm about to you know, pull the trigger and actually you know, you know, set things in motion, ego will show up. Now, I expect my ego to come. I almost welcome my ego. When my ego shows up and goes, don't do it because boogie, 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 you will not fail. You will not be good at this. You don't have experience. Now's the right, not the right time. Pick any excuse you can come up with. I not only expect it, I welcome it. When my ego says these things, I'm like, ego, it's so nice to see you. Come sit down. Okay, sit down. So what do we have to say? Uh, pick, what was it? What was it? My ego is so scared of me that it's like, oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. Because I throw a shadow right on the, uh, I throw a flashlight on my shadow and I address it, the talking points. I will not be successful because I will fail because I have no experience. Ego, millions of people in this world who do this, they don't have experience, they seem to be successful. Anything else? Oh, uh, not the right time. Okay, well, you know, right now I did the due diligence and Q1's actually the right time. I feel like we should move forward. Do you see where I'm going with this? I welcome this energy. Now, I am able to do this because I am very confident and aware of what to do. And the only reason I have that strength, that knowledge, that courage, that bravery is because I have knowledge. I really have uh, awareness of what is going to happen. I predict my ego to come. And I'm also aware of what to do when it does come. Throwing that light on that shadow, right? I know when that, when that ego shows up, I'm not gonna identify with fear. I'm not gonna be like, oh my goodness, oh, so scary. Oh my goodness, you're right, I'm not gonna do it, right? I'm not gonna do that because I'm aware of what's gonna take place. Now, Judgment, Page of Wands, Knight of Cups, Eight of Cups. Your person, I see a major, major opportunity presenting stuff that's not only gonna bring your person to you, but also you guys are going to be meeting up at the right time. I see some sort of engagement between you guys that is going to help complete each other's energy. And I feel like right now, you are the yin to their yang and they're also here to guide you out of a certain situation. So expect some sort of download from your angels pushing you guys to meet sooner than later. So for example, when I met my wife, Alicia, you know, I was very charismatic, ambitious, a go-getter. But I had no idea what spirit was. I didn't know what law of attraction was, vibrations, frequency, magnetic energy. I did not know this. This was 14 years ago. When she met me, you know, she was really tapped into her spiritual side, but the business side, she needed some experience in. What did we do? We completed each other, right? I showed her, she showed me. Now together we are you know, superwoman, superman, wonder woman, superman, you could say, right? We really met at each other, met each other at the right time. When she showed me what the law of attraction was, I looked into it. I was like, at first I was like, oh, that's very cute, right? I was like, oh, such cute stuff, right? I didn't even, I didn't even pay attention. Then I looked into it, I'm like, holy smokes, this is quantum physics. Like this stuff is real. They can measure magnetic energy. This is a frequency of vibration. We are like antennas. We emit a thought. It is actually energy. We attract that energy back. This is not just like, like, like just, you know, stuff that people talk about. Like this is, they can prove this. There's 5,000 medical, 5,000 clinical studies done showing the law of attraction, showing that the magnetic energy you emit, you feel back. Check out Dr. Joe Dispenza, right? On YouTube. Oh, oh, the, there's so much proof of this. So where I'm going with this is, it blew my mind. And then I used the law of attraction and I used it in my businesses. Then my businesses exploded, exploded after that. Same thing with Lisa, right? I showed her how to monetize her passion. What do you love doing? Fantastic, let's go get it. There's no reason to wait, you know what I mean? So we came into each other's uh, lives at the right time. Now, Spirit is also letting you know during this time, in order for you to put yourself in a vibrational frequency to see all these things unfold for you, you have to walk away from something or someone that Eight of Cups lets me know now's the time to make a strategic change in your life and close a chapter. This could be from something, someone, or this could be from an ideology, mind state, habit, hobby. Maybe we're staying up too late. Maybe we're drinking too much. Maybe we're, 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 we're overthinking. Maybe we're hanging around people that lower our vibrations. Maybe we're, we're wanting to commit to something, but we're scared to do so. There is some sort of stagnant energy there that we've been doing for many, many years, and now's the time to walk away from it. Now's the time to capitalize on this. We don't want to miss the boat here, right? When this opportunity presents itself to meet our soulmate, we want to invite change, invite that beautiful energy into our life, and we have to be, you know, in a vibrational frequency where change wants to come to us, right? Look at love, 
money, health, as nothing as three different individuals, right? Now, these individuals, you want to woo them so they actually come into your life. Everything is energy. That's all you got to look at it. It's easier to relate to a human, right? So imagine love is romance. Your soulmate is not necessarily your soulmate, but a big ball of energy that you have to woo. Hello, romance. How are you? Oh my goodness. Here's what I offer in order for that opportunity to come. Same thing with money. Money, I know you love me. Oh my goodness. We're going to have such a good time. Let's go have some fun opposed to money, you don't love me, where are you at? You have to be lucky to love you. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's energy. Tap into the energy that you want to attract. Be, you know, be, be, be in a vibrational frequency where the energy cannot deny you and watch the abundance flow. All right, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thousand kisses. Until next time, ciao.